Hello, Scorpios. I am back with another reading for you guys. We're going to see if the person that you're thinking about, see if they're coming back. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, stay tuned because we're going to check it out. All right. So this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. What is currently going on with Scorpio? The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Hmm. I feel like you guys are seeking some sort of assistance from somebody that you you trust, somebody that you respect. Um, you're seeking guidance on something, advice on something currently. Getting somebody else's opinion for something. Maybe some of you are thinking about um, getting married or some of you are just kind of like uh, questioning yourselves, questioning your decisions at this point, okay, and seeking someone else's advice. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on for the other person? And then we have the sun here. Leo energy. So I feel like you are probably involved with another fixed energy, um, which is can be kind of tough sometimes. But um, this is somebody that is very um, prideful. I feel like this person's very confident on the verge of being arrogant. And I do feel like they have a certain face that they present to the world. Okay, but even though they, they come across very strong, this person's really not that that strong. They're not weak, but I feel like they don't want people to see any sign of weakness coming from them. Any sort of vulnerability probably is a better word. Okay. What does Scorpio want? What does Scorpio want? What does Scorpio want? Six of Cups. That's your card. I feel like you guys want to be happy with your person. And you don't want just anybody. You want your person. I do feel like some of you are wanting to get married. Um, you feel like you found that person. Whether you guys are together or not, there's something in you that feels like you've met the person that you should be with. Okay. What does the other person want? What does the other person want? What's the other person want? Okay. Four of Cups. I feel like they want the same thing that you want. They want the same thing that you want. I see this person reminiscing. I see them not really allowing themselves to extend their emotions to other situations and other people. Okay, the four and the six of cups is a ten of cups. I feel like, you know, you guys want to reunite. This person is daydreaming about reuniting. But for some reason, I'm getting that this person feels like it's not going to happen. Maybe they feel like it's in the past. Um, and they're not really looking at the bigger picture that it can be the present and the future. If, you know, the energy shifts. Okay. You manifest what you want. You even manifest things you don't want. So you have to be careful with your thoughts. You know? So this is Cancer's energy here. <clears throat> what does Scorpio need? I see two cards poking out down here. So let's put the other one down there. What you need? The Five of Pentacles. I feel like you guys need... A soft place to land here okay I feel that you want and you need somebody to give you that time because you feel rejected you feel um, you know kept at arm's length and I feel like you need that person to come and shake things up for you to do something that they probably are not comfortable doing. Show some vulnerability. You need them to come to you. Be there for you. 
take you out, introduce you to their family, introduce you to their friends. They need to show some emotion. They need to show that they want to be with you. Show you that they want to spend time with you. Show you that they are proud of you. <clears throat> they decide what they want. I feel like this person feels like their options are open for some reason too. Um, their ego is a little inflated, this individual, I feel. What does the other person need? What does the other person need? Look at that. Can't make this shit up. The Knight of Cups. They need to come to you and express how they feel, tell you that they love you, and all of those other things that I mentioned before. They need to come with it. It's what you call either shitting or getting off the freaking pot. That's what it is, <laughs> you know? Because I see them daydreaming here. I feel like their ego is, is getting in the way. <clears throat> is there someone else involved for Scorpio? Is there someone else involved for Scorpio? That's the Empress there. I don't think anyone else is involved. I feel like you guys are working on yourselves. Um, getting the advice that you need. Getting the, the input from the people that you respect. Um, I feel like it's all about you and getting yourself together at this point. I feel like you are truly a catch. You're truly a catch. So I feel that this person better make up their mind and make up their mind quick because um, somebody's going to come in and swoop Scorpio up. Because uh, you got it going on here. Okay. That's that Taurus, Libra, Aries energy here, I feel. <clears throat> Are they involved with someone else? Is this person involved with someone else? The Emperor. <laughs> well, in this something, we have the emperor and the empress uh no i don't feel that they are i feel like this is your person and i think you know this is your person and deep down aside they know as well you guys i don't know what has transpired between the two of you but and maybe it's that fixed energy um even if they're not a fixed sign they're like they could be an aries because aries can be kind of stubborn too and aries is a cardinal sign but coming as the emperor uh the emperor doesn't do shit okay you come to the emperor and i think that's where like you guys are butting heads at wow okay so let's see if union is likely is Union likely between Scorpio and their person? Is Union likely? Okay, let's see what this is. Three of Wands here. I feel like they're waiting on you to make a move. This person's waiting on you. They feel like they deserve you. They deserve you. Their ego is very inflated. This is Aries energy here with the Three of Wands too, mind you. I feel like they're waiting on you. So for the month of June, I don't really see this person coming towards you because they're allowing their ego to get in the way. But you guys are definitely a match here. I would be surprised at some point that you guys do come back together. I just don't really see it happening in the month of June is the thing. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.